What's going on everybody? Marvel the Cross 316 back with another comic book flashback. Today we are looking at Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 37 and today's title is still and we have an epic cover here with Venom on the cover here and so we're going to finally see Eddie Brock become Venom. He We saw last issue how he dipped his fingers into that vial of black goo that symbiote suit and now we're going to see how the symbiote suit reacts to eddie brock and so previously in ultimate spider-man peter visits college student eddie brock a childhood friend and the son of his father's scientific colleague eddie shows peter an experiment that their fathers were working on right before their deaths a black liquid that can transform into a protoplasmic bodysuit curing any illness and enhancing the wearer's strength and abilities. Vowing to complete his father's work and find a way to use the suit to cure cancer, Peter secretly removes a sample of the murky liquid from Eddie's college laboratory. But when he gets a drop on his skin, he is encased in a living black costume that expands his powers and renders him nearly unstoppable. At first, Peter is intoxicated by his new powers. But things turn sour when the suit nearly drives him to kill. He manages to fight free of the suit's influence, but he is left exhausted and ashamed. He confesses to Eddie that he used the suit, then destroys the sample by throwing it into a smokestack. Unknown to Peter, however, Eddie has his own sample of the liquid hidden away. And that's where we pick up right here. But before we get started... This issue is brought to you by Brian Michael Bendis, who wrote this issue. We have Mark Bagley on the penciling, Art Dibber on the inking, Chris Ilipoulos on the lettering page, Stephen Moore, assistant editor, C.B. Sobolski, associate editor, oh, as well with Brian Smith, Ralph McKayo, editor, Joe Caseta, editor-in-chief, and Jill, Bill Jamoss, president and inspiration. And so we begin right off the bat. We have Peter basically reliving his nightmare here where he almost killed this mugger right here, claiming that this guy killed Uncle Ben. And then we saw, as we see um, basically last issue or I think two issues ago, where Peter became the Venom and he used the symbiote suit to basically almost kill this guy. And during this, we also see that while this is taking place, uh, Eddie Brock is now struggling as he has the Venom suit on himself. So Peter wakes right now. He's in a nightmare. He awakes. It, it's just lightning and thundering outside. And he basically is going to pay Mary Jane Watson a visit here. He taps on her window. Again, it is pouring rain outside. He only has a hoodie on and some clothes. He basically points wanting to meet up. They meet up in her garage, and he says, Can you believe this rain? Jeez. And so basically, she's, he's like, Look, MJ, I need to talk with you. And she said, Well, yeah, you did wake me up. What is it? She said, Are you okay? And then he looks down, and she says, are you hurt? And then she said, did you make a new costume? I saw you on TV with this whole black costume thing. He said, yeah, no, that was just a temporary thing, big mistake. And she said, yeah, it wasn't you. He said, yeah, so like, what's going on? Peter says, do you miss me, MJ? She looks, and he says, if you say no, I'll go. I won't bother you anymore. She says, of course I do. And she says, but look, I've seen you hanging out with Gwen and especially with that college guy. And he says, look, Gwen, or look, that, that's, Gwen has nothing to do with this, okay? I have nothing um, for Gwen, nothing. And he said, are you seeing anyone? And she jokes and says, yeah, Liz Allen. And then he says, really? And she says, you wish. She says, no, Peter, I'm not seeing anyone. Then he said, I almost killed someone, MJ. I lost control of myself. I made a mistake, and I, I almost killed someone. 
And he says, I miss you so much, MJ, and I swear if I knew what was going on with your dad and stuff, I would have been there for you. And he basically just tells her, he said, look, MJ, the bottom line is this. I'm in love with you, MJ. And he says, will you take me back? And she basically says, I'm so scared. And she says, I don't. And so Peter walks away. And so back at the laboratory, we see that there's a custodian and he is basically going to go mop up some floors and stuff. All of a sudden, he's hearing like a um, bunch of mutters and stuff behind this. And this is where he comes across Eddie Brock covered in all of that black goo, the symbiote suit. And he's like, oh my gosh. And then he's like, so cold. And then he reaches out to help Eddie, but then the symbiote suit consumes this guy and eats the guy alive. And so that's part of the what's so dangerous about the symbiote suit is it basically consumes people. It's like a carn it's like a carnivore of some sort. Eddie's trying his best to escape the suit, but every time it keeps pulling him back in, and it's basically feeding on Eddie's weaknesses feeding on Eddie's emotions and finally Eddie basically is consumed by the symbiote suit and now he is full on venom here cops rush in and they say oh my gosh what the crap is that and they start panicking here and the venom as we see basically takes out these guards instantly so the next day at Midtown High School Peter is in his math class and it's a geometry class, to be honest. His spider sense um, goes off, and then he looks outside. And guess who is outside the window? It is Venom. And Venom wants Peter. Peter's like, what the crap is this? I thought I had killed the Venom suit and that smoke stat. And so <laughs> Peter just gets up and runs out of class. I guess the teacher doesn't notice. And Peter meets Venom out on the football field. It's pouring rain. And here we go, folks. Finally, the, fin the, the confrontation that we've been wanting to see. Peter Parker versus Venom here. And then we see that Eddie Brock reveals himself. And he basically says, Our fathers died to create me, and now you will too. And so, next issue, we have to look forward to a big battle between Venom and Peter Parker. we got to look forward to that. And so, go ahead now, give this video a like, comment down below what you liked about this issue, subscribe if you have not, and I will see y'all in the next one.